Hi guys, it's Alex, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do your very first Twitch.tv stream using Open Broadcast Software, or OBS for short. Okay, so when you first download and install OBS, and you can get this from the Twitch.tv website, um, from the Open Broadcast Software uh, website, or I will link it in the description box, so go ahead and click the link down there. Um, once you download and install it, you're going to see this screen here, only you won't have anything in the scenes box here or anything in the sources box, and this whole area that you see the video on is going to be uh, blank or gray. Okay, so once you start off, the first thing you want to do is get your settings right. So go ahead and click settings up here, and uh, I'll just go through the tabs. Um, I won't explain everything, but I'll, I'll kind of go slow, uh, s sort of slow, and you can just pause the video if you need to, and... Um, you know, you can copy down my settings if you if you feel like it. All right, so um, general is pretty much pretty plain. Um, you know, encoding. Go ahead and copy that if you want to. The first tab you really want to pay attention to is going to be broadcast settings. So you can see the first thing to choose here is mode. It should default to live stream, and that's what you want. So go ahead and click live stream. Uh, for the streaming service, if you want to go to a different website, you can, but everyone, you know, including myself, uses Twitch. So uh, go ahead and click Twitch there. This, uh, you just want to choose a server closer to you um, if it doesn't already default to one that's very close to you. And you just click the drop down box and choose whatever you need to. Um, and then this right here is the most important thing in the box it is the play path slash stream key. If you try to stream without having this uh, set up, it's going to tell you that it doesn't know where to stream to and that you can't do it. Okay, So the way you want to find that, let me just go ahead and close this. The way you want to find that is by going to twitch.tv and on your uh, profile, or I guess on the main page, you want to go over here to where it says your name. Click it and go to dashboard and that will bring you to this page right here. Okay, so from this page you can see there's a lot of useful stuff, but we want stream key. So click that there. And as you can see right here, it gives you a little warning. Anyone can use this key to broadcast to your channel, so do not show it on video. Okay? But what you want to do is you want to click show key right here, and uh, you're going to copy that and paste it into your settings. So let me go ahead and go back to those settings. Right here? Okay. So it's in broadcast settings tab, and copy and paste it right here. Um, the stream key, you want to keep it to yourself. Only give it out to anybody else if you want them to be able to stream to your channel. Uh, personally, I don't recommend it because I'm pretty sure you can't both be streaming at the same time and chances are it's either going to kick you off or it's going to um, just not let you stream at all while the other person's streaming. But if you want to coordinate with someone and try to keep your stream up as much as possible, then uh, you'd give them this key. Otherwise, keep it to yourself. Okay. Um, these settings are just, you can leave them at default, uh, it's just depending if you're going to be recording your live streams or not. Um, they do put extra strain on your computer if you decide to record while streaming, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so we're going to go to the video settings. Uh, most of this should default to whatever's best for you, but something you want to pay attention to is this FPS right here. Um, I don't know if it defaults to 30 or 60, but I changed mine down to 30. Um, because at 60 FPS I noticed I was dropping frames on certain games and in my opinion it's better to have a uh, lag free 30 FPS stream than to go with 60 FPS and drop frames occasionally okay um, disable arrow it's up to you it says it's strongly strongly recommended if you're using monitor capture okay so that's what I'm doing um, it's sort of just it sort of like messes with how Windows 7 looks and things like that. I'm assuming to make it a little bit faster. So anyway, click that if you want to use monitor capture. Uh, next tab to be paying attention to is the audio tab. You can see here on OBS, let me go ahead and move that out of the way, these two red bars down here, one of them is microphone and you see this little green level going away. Um, that means that it's obviously receiving sound from the microphone and here's my speakers. Okay, So if those are gray, which they usually will be at the start, you just need to come to this audio tab and choose your audio device. Make sure it's the correct one. If you have a headset, I'm using both of them as my headset. Just change those devices and hit um, apply, okay? And that'll go ahead and take care of those. Hotkeys you can set if you want to. I personally dislike them because if you press, like, let's say the stop stream key while you're, uh, you know, playing a game, 
then it will, you know, it'll just stop your stream. And if you're really involved in the game, you won't even notice. And then, you know, it's just not really fun. Um, or if you don't mean to start your stream, then you're live for everybody, you know. Uh, so you got to be careful with that. But feel free to set any hotkeys if you feel like it. Um, advanced, just go ahead and copy down what's here. Um, there's nothing that's really necessary in here. It should all be default um, to good settings for you. And uh, that's pretty much it. You don't really need the other tabs, so hit OK. All right, so all your settings are perfectly, um, you know, sorted out now, and you won't. Uh, so you still won't see anything on the screen, and you'll have a blank box here and a blank box here. So now it's time to actually start setting your stream up. Okay. So what you want to do is right-click here and hit Add Scene, and uh, it tells you to enter a scene name. So I named mine Twitch Tutorials. It's right here. Um, and originally, let's see, you're gonna have none of these little things in here. <coughs> I'll show you how to add all this. We'll leave that one up there. Okay, so these two are just monitor captures. They do what they say, and they just capture the monitor. That's how I pulled up Twitch and then and this one here, okay? So the way you add a source is by right-clicking and hit Add, and you can see there's a whole lot of sources here to choose from. We got Window Capture, which would be good if you're trying to show like an image or something. Monitor Capture to show the entire monitor. Regular Image, that, that you would have to actually have it downloaded on your computer and then it'll just show the image up there. That's good for overlays and things like that if you want to make one. Um, there's image slideshow. No real reason to do that unless you're doing like advertisements or something. Global source, which I'll explain in a second. You got text. CLR browser will not be in here for you uh, unless you download it, which I'll show you how to do later. Video capture device and game capture. Okay. So first what we're going to do is go ahead and do game capture. And I'm going to go ahead and name this Minecraft because that's what we're going to be using for the tutorial today. So you click Minecraft, or you name it Minecraft, and then go ahead and click the drop down bar and find it right here, okay? Uh, Minecraft will not show up unless you run OBS in um, administrator mode, okay? So right click it when you start off and hit run as administrator, or else Minecraft will not show up in this list, alright? Now, what game capture is good for, uh, let me see, let me just move this out of the way. Okay, so the way I moved that out of the way, let me show you here, is you hit Edit Scene, and you can just drag this around, and then when you hit Edit Scene again, it'll get rid of those red bars. Uh, but what I was saying, the thing that Game Capture is good for is um, it's a lot less laggy than Monitor Capture. So if you're playing a really demanding game, uh, you, while you can capture it with Monitor Capture, uh, I recommend using Game Capture because it keeps the lag down and uh, just helps out in general. You can see the difference between the two. Um, because you can see the actual Minecraft game, I could have it all up here, but this will just give you the image. It won't give you that little window there. Okay, so you've got your game loaded using Game Capture, and that was in your sources. And now the next thing you want to do is probably add a webcam. Okay, so with things like webcams, if you're going to be setting up a new scene, and you uh, want to add your webcam to multiple scenes, like let's say you have a different scene for every game. Um, which I do. I've got desktop, that's where I play Minecraft, league, in-game, and then it'll be right back screen. Okay, so uh, with things like webcams, you want to add a global source. So click here to global sources, and you're just going to want to click add. This will usually be blank when you start. Click add, and then you choose what type of global source. I have a couple text global sources and everything like that, um, but in this case we're just going to go to video capture device, name it webcam2, because I already have webcam1, and this is the screen you're going to see, okay? So um, just go into this device drop, drop, drop down box right here. Choose your webcam. I only have one, so that's what it is. Um, if it's got a webcam on it, I recommend disabling it because you already set up your microphone. Or not a webcam. If it's got a microphone on it, there you go. Uh, I recommend disabling it. Everything else should be good at default and just click OK. And you can see I already have a global source, but yours will just go right through. Okay? So it'll show up in that global sources box right here click OK and it won't add automatically to here. What you have to do is right click and just like we did with Minecraft you're going to go to add but this time you're going to go to global source and find whatever you named your webcam. Okay. Once you do that go ahead and click enter or OK and here you go we have the webcam. Now it's uh, super huge to start off with and so the way you're going to fix that is just go to edit scene right there and just like I showed you you can click and drag it around it'll have those red bars around it and then I'm just going to click this corner and make it a little smaller down here. That way it's a little bit more manageable. Okay? 
So we have our webcam, we have our game. That's pretty much all you need. You know, after setting up your audio and everything, you could have a perfectly uh, fine stream at this point, okay? So um, what you want to do, I'm going to move OBS out of the way for just a second. And all I'm going to do is go to my Minecraft game and maximize it. And you can see in just a second here that it's going to get, uh, you know, huge on the screen. And so the problem with it that you see, I'll go ahead and put... Um, OBS. Let's see. Let's let's close Minecraft. But you can see how huge it is, and it covers everything up. But it's not um, placed correctly. So what you want to do is right-click it right here in OBS, go to position slash size, and go fit to screen. Now when we pull it back up, you can see that it is you know perfectly fitting on the screen. Obviously, I have the gap at the top and the bottom. That's because I'm playing in windowed mode. But if you were in full screen, it would be um, you know top to bottom perfectly fit, no problem. All right. Now. Another thing you can see is that my webcam is on top of Minecraft, and that is because in OBS here, in the sources, um, it's basically, it works like layers. So if I decide to move this down, my little webcam down, it'll go behind whatever source is on top of it, okay? And obviously the only sources that are showing are the ones that are checked. So <clears throat> if you have this problem where you start up your stream and you've got you know your game over your webcam and you can't see it, just go ahead and hit either, um, let me show you here. You select what you want to move and you can hit control and an arrow to move it up or down. Or you can just right click and go to order and click move up or move down. Okay? So that's pretty much all you need. Um, like I was saying earlier, if I, w if I remember to say it, um, I don't recommend having a monitor capture up while you're doing game capture. So just once you get in game, you pull this up. Go ahead and uncheck your monitor capture. You can see it sort of faded to black in the background. Um, and you'd be good to go. You can just stream from here and start playing Minecraft, OK? Uh, and that works for any other game that you want to do. So let me go ahead and close those down. From this point, you've got it all set up. You can see you've got your game. You've got your webcam. Uh, if you wanted to have a monitor capture for when you get out of game or if you know you have to mess with settings and you don't want them to be looking at black, you can go ahead and do that. Um, and so what you'd want to do, you're going to be setting all this up in preview stream, okay? So once you add your sources, just click preview, and you'll see exactly what I see. And you'll be able to move around your stream, uh, you know, all the sources and get them to look how you want them to look. And then uh, once you're ready, just go ahead and click start streaming, and you'll be live right away. So <laughs> make sure you got it all under control when you uh, preview the stream. And after that, just have fun, okay? So that's all the basics of streaming. Um, I'm going to be setting up some more videos soon to go into a lot more in depth, like adding music to the stream, um, adding like you know donation alerts, follow alerts, things like that. Uh, and if you have any questions, anything you want me to cover that I didn't mention already, go ahead and leave it in the comment. Uh, like the video if you feel like it. Subscribe if you feel so inclined. And thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.